Hi, this is Rob Packard. I'm recording this video to explain exactly what you get when you purchase our procedure for data analysis. The actual title of the procedure is Monitoring, Measurement, and Analysis Procedure, and the procedure number is SYS017. What I'm showing you right now is an email that's a, um, a test email that I sent myself for when you purchase that procedure. And it says that you've received the procedure and this is what you get, SYS017, Rev A, and it's draft number three. So we've actually revised this a couple of times. In the most recent revisions I've made, I'm gonna show you right now. So here's the actual procedure. It's four pages long. And the, the big changes that I made were I color coded everything in blue with cross references to the ISO standard to show you where the requirements are met. And this procedure already had a lot of references. Um, it has references to 8.2.5, 5.4.1 for uh, quality objectives, 8.4 for data analysis, and 5.6 for the um, manager review. The one area that it doesn't include that I actually mistakenly had in the previous version of this, um, draft two, um, is 8.2.6. And 8.2.6 is, we had moved that to procedure 12, which is production process controls. So if you're interested in production process controls and release of product and how you monitor product conformity, that's a different clause. It's 8.2.6 and it's covered by this SYS0112, which is also available on our website. But to give you an example of where these show up, here's some examples. So right here, it shows, here's a reference to a requirement for 8.2.5. This is how we meet it. And it says that in every single one of our procedures, we have a section that tells you how you monitor and measure that process. And that's covered right here. So this section is included in all our procedures. It tells you how to monitor and measure that process. Another example of what's in here. Uh, okay, so uh, 5.6.1, the requirements to review the quality objectives with top management and decide what things are need to be measured and what things don't need to be measured and to establish quality objectives, 5.4.1. And then for the data analysis requirements, we have this a little bit further down, establishing quality objectives and other metrics. Here are the metrics that you should establish. Um, and I see yet another typo, so I'm gonna have to correct that. There is no 8.4.1, there's just 8.4. So 8.4a is feedback, 8.4b is conformity to product requirements, 8.4.c is trends of process. So each one of these is identical to what's in required in the actual standard. And they're in the order of the standard, uh, A, B, C through F. And I even included references to other procedures where those are covered. So you have service, you have quality auditing, you have supplier quality, uh, uh, management, you have production process controls, and you have post-market surveillance or feedback. And the only one that is specific to just this procedure is 8.4C, um, which is monitoring and measuring of processes. And then there are a couple of things that I added here with notes. We use the term department manager here, but your company might not have departments. You might need to modify that word if you purchase this procedure. If you don't have service, this might become five instead of six, because there are six items up here and service isn't in all organizations. And then if you don't use the term department, you might change that wording to something else. But that is, that's essentially shows you what we have in this procedure, um, shows you how we meet the requirements. We even have down here, um, how to establish quality objectives. So we, we give you best practices and how to set those metrics, um, what to measure, how to measure it, what's your target, what frequency should you measure, it, who should do it. These are all best practices. And then at the bottom it says, is the quality objective consistent with the quality policy, which is one more thing that the, the uh, ISO standard looks for. Um, we don't cover statistical analysis in this procedure. A lot of companies will combine statistical techniques requirement, which is in 21 CFR 820.250 with the data analysis. I didn't in this play case because we wrote a se separate procedure for that, and that's SYS 022. So if you're interested in that, that's where you go to find that. And these are the procedures that should get statistical or processes that should get statistical analysis. I believe the only ones that are specifically stated in uh, the QSR are the CAPA servicing, um, 
I don't remember which other ones, but there's only a few of these, but these are the ones that are recommended. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. And I hope this was helpful in explaining what is included in this procedure if you decide to purchase it. Thank you and have a nice day.